guys, it's Brooke from the Vintage Garden and welcome back to my channel. I just want to say a big hello and welcome to all of my new subscribers. In the past couple weeks, I'm not really sure what's going on, but I have gotten like 20 plus subscribers and so welcome to the family. <laughs> uh, if you guys are not following me on social media like Instagram and Facebook, if you notice in the description, I have put a link to all of the places you can find um, me on the web because I am fairly active on social media and I don't want you guys to miss anything because sometimes my videos will be referencing other things uh, that ha are happening on other social media platforms. So if you guys are following me on Instagram or even my Facebook page, one of the things you guys will have seen are the photographs of my winter sewing. In case you guys are wondering, at this point I've planted about over 1,500 containers. So I'm going to give you guys a minute to kind of wrap your heads around that. Okay, you done now? <laughs> so yes, 1500. And I know a lot of people have been asking me, well, what did you plant? And I haven't really been answering the question because at this point, I have planted over 50 varieties of plants. And quite frankly, it's just too much for me to type in comment bubble. But um, I know you guys are very interested in that. So I had done a slideshow presentation showing all of the... Um, all the plants I've seeded to date. And of course, this is gonna change. I will remember, I'm gonna to try to remember to update it because quite frankly, uh, there's a batch of seeds I still have not gotten in. <laughs> and so, and I quite frankly, I don't remember how many varieties were on what I ordered, but it was a lot. So I'm probably, I don't think it's gonna be an exaggeration to say that I will have seeded probably close to a hundred, if not more than a hundred flowers. And that's just flowers. That doesn't include any of um, the vegetables and herbs I'm doing. So actually that's going to take it over a hundred. So anyway, guys, let's just get into it. But before we start, um, you guys want to hit pause, like go get yourself like a cup of tea, some hot cocoa or a glass of wine and grab yourself a pen and paper because I'm going to be telling you, um, the type of flower, and I'm also going to be telling you uh, where I got the seeds from. So that way, if you see something you like, you can uh, you can get it too. So here we go. So the Garden 2021, the plant list. So let's talk about the Parterre Garden first. Now, as you guys remember, I'm doing a color wheel concept on the outside edge of the design. So let's talk about the red section first. So I have Flemish Antique Poppy by Baker's Creek, Double Black Peony Poppy by Swallowtail Seeds, and Pandora Shirley Poppy also by Swallowtail Seeds. Then I have Cheaters Maroon Hollyhock by Swallowtail Seeds, and the Florist Pepper Box Poppy by Baker's Creek. Then I'm doing the Moulin Rouge Sunflower, the Black Knight Scabiosa, and Beaujolais Sweet Pea, which are all from Botanical Interest. Then I have the Black Swan Poppy, the Night and Day Snapdragon, and actually Scarlet Flax. And once again, all of those are by Botanical Interest. Okay, so this is the orange section of the garden. Frosted Salmon Peony Poppy from Baker's Creek. I got this one for Christmas from my sister. Then we've got Mammoth Salmon Sweet Pea, Apricot Lysanthus, and the Molly Rylestone Sweet Pea. Uh, the Mammoth Salmon Sweet Pea is from Fairy Morris. The Apricot Lysanthus is from Johnny's, and the Molly Rylestone Sweet Pea is from uh, Solotel. I have Coffee and Cream Calendula, which I got from Hudson Valley Seeds. Then I got Pink Surprise Calendula from My Seed Needs, and Orange Sherber Sherbet's Carnation also from My Seed Needs. <laughs> this is the yellow section. I have Peach Passion Sunflower from Botanical Interest, Pro Cut Plum from Sunflower Selections, 
uh, Cherry Rose, which is also from Suncut Sunflower Selections, and Pro Cut Gold, which is once again also from Sunflower Selections. Uh, more yellow flowers are Silver Lining Verbascum, which I got from Swallowtail Seeds. I got the Sunshine Hollyhock and also Banana Custard Verbascum, all from Swallowtail Seeds. And I got the Mellow Yellow Coneflower, which is from Baker's Creek. That's also a Christmas present I got from my sister. Then let's talk about the green flowers. First is Bells of Ireland, and I got this from My Seed Needs. And then I have Green Twister Coneflower, and I purchased those plants last year from Stone Ridge Garden Peddler. I, but I'm also going to try to get some seeds as well. Let's talk about the blue lavender flowers. Lilac Pom Pom pop, Poppy. Amazing Gray Poppy, and the Ling Home Hybrid Menocopsis Poppy, and all of those are from Swallowtail Seeds. I got um, Giant Imperial Blue Spire Larkspur from Swallowtail. Munsed Lavender, I got this from, let's see, a combination of Botanical Interest, Fairy Morris, and I believe My Seed Needs. I did the Turquoise Lagoon Sweet Pea from Swallowtail Seeds and My Navy Sweet Pea from Botanical Interest. Okay, so first up is the Nimbus Sweet Pea, the Oxford and Cambridge Sweet Pea. These I got from Swallowtail Seeds. The Electric Blue Sweet Pea I got from Renee's Garden. The Mid Blue Delphinium. Sky Blue Delphinium and Pacific Giant Delphinium. Let's see, I, the Pacific Giant Delphinium, I believe was Fairy Morse. And these, the last two Delphiniums were also from Swallowtail Seed. Now after the pink flowers. I have Pink Dandelion from Baker's Creek, which was a Christmas present from my sister. Mountain Garland Clarkia, which is from Renee's Garden Seed and Shades of Summer Verbascum by Botanical Interest. Then I have Mulberry Rose Nigella, Sherry Amore Sweet Pea, Strawberry Field Sweet Pea, and those are from Renee's Garden. Then I have Route 66 Sweet Pea, which is by Swallowtail Seeds, Echo Champagne Lysianthus, which is, oh, I think that's also from Swallowtail Seeds. Then I got Double Tape Columbine from Hudson Valley Seed Company. And for the sunflowers, I have Double Dandy Sunflower, and I believe I do have some of those from Sunflower Selections. I think last year I may have gotten some from my seed needs, but I ordered more at the end of the summer. Let's talk about the white flowers. Uh, so the first up is Chabot. Benigna. Um, I got these seeds from Florette before you ran out and grabbed them. Uh, she discontinued them. I grabbed four packs. Oh, it was at least six months ago. Then I got some Shasta Daisy Silver Princess and Snowy Spires Verbascum, and those are by Burpee. Let's see, I did some Hardy Hibiscus Marshmallow. And those two I got from Hudson Valley Seed Company. High Scent Sweet Pea from Botanical Interest. And the Midnight Mix, also from Hudson Valley Seed Company. Then let's talk about the Sunset Garden. I know I posted this on Instagram in terms of where I should plant it, but I changed my mind. Instead of putting it in the pink section, I'm going to put Southern Charm Verbascum in the Sunset Garden because it's kind of a mix and the Sunset Garden is pink, orange, and yellow. Uh, then let's go to the Moon Garden. So I'm growing woodland peonies from seed and that's going to be added to the hydrangeas that I already have there. 
I might just had general other seeds because with the peony seeds, I'm not sure where I'm going to be planting them. Well, except for the woodland seeds. Uh, but the, with the peony seeds, I have woodland peonies. I have herbaceous peonies, which is a mix. I don't know what color they'll be. Then I have Gansu tree peonies. I haven't decided where I'm putting those. And then I have Sarah Bernhardt hybrids. Hey guys, so that is the end of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> and um, like I said, stay tuned. I will be trying to update that particular slideshow probably every other week, just to, you know, just to keep current on everything. And um, you know, if you guys have any questions about the seeds, because I know right now there's a lot of seed companies that are kind of selling out or they're like shut down temporarily because of the orders if you look for one of the ones on the websites i've mentioned and you're not seeing it let me know there are other companies that do sell a lot of others of those seeds and i probably have some alternative sources if you cannot get it from the websites that i mentioned but anyway guys that's the end of the video so um don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and most importantly, share it with your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next video.